button on celebration at the Arnie Gilia Evangelical Church. As you all know, uh, we believe in the Holy Trinity. And there's an interesting correlation between our belief in the Holy Trinity. We believe in, in God, the Creator, His Son, Jesus Christ, who knowingly came to this world, and He knew before He came that He was going to sacrifice His life. And when He left, before He left, He said, when I leave, my Father will send the Holy Spirit until I come back. And it's interesting to reflect. In our Armenian history, there are three important events that we also celebrate. The first one was 301, when we came Christians as the first Armenian Christian nation. But Christianity was not like an electric switch. You switch it on and everybody turns Christian. It took a lot of time. The king decided to be Christian as an Armenian king. But until all the people turned into Christians, it took time. Especially when we became Christian, we didn't have an Armenian Bible. It took another 100 years to translate the Bible into Armenian, 404, as Badwari indicated in his sermon. So 404, we translate Bible into Armenian, and only two generations after that, 451, that's our Trinity, 451, when, as Christ did to sacrifice his life, we Armenians, especially led by Vartar Mamigori, were willing to sacrifice our own soldiers to defend our faith. And with, with their death, the Armenian Christianity was solidified amongst us. So today we are here to celebrate. I remember a few days ago, in having dinner with my granddaughter, and I'm pretty sure you all have several granddaughters and grandchildren. She came to me and said, I am yes, I am yes. Kach Vartarin Tordin yes. We are here to celebrate today. We are all children of Kach Vartar. I would like to invite Badveri, uh, Badveri uh, Sarkis Karaminasya. He uh, personifies, he's a young Badveri, just like his father and dad, Yeresen Hezutyun Bargeshutyun Yev Christosi Sera Yeresen Gerevi. Badveri, who's this? Karamenev Berasovan Jashkiri Tufadav. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for blessing us with the privilege of gathering in your house another week to celebrate, uh, especially today, Bartanan's uh, Sunday, to come together to remember the heroes of our past, uh, especially Bartan Mamigonian and his brave fellow soldiers, his comrades. And uh, Lord, we thank you for their example, for their faith, for their bravery, and even in the face of death, um, we thank you for them being faithful and devoted to you and uh, being uh, a courageous example for each one of us. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for being with them, for helping them to stay steadfast even as they faced uh, death. And Lord, we are grateful for their example and we ask that you would help us, as Badwini Tutikan said in his sermon, to live for the faith for which they died. And Lord, we're also grateful for the, the opportunity to share this meal together this afternoon. We are grateful for each and every person who is here with us today. And uh, we ask for your blessing upon uh, this gathering. May the, the fellowship that we will be enjoying, as well as the program, um, and uh, all that we will do, may it be glorifying to you, Lord, and edifying to each one of us. And we ask for your blessing upon the food that we will be sharing, uh, the breaking of bread. And uh, Lord, we ask that you would also help us uh, to remember those who are not as fortunate and to be uh, generous in sharing 
the blessings that you have given to each of us. And Lord, we thank you for each person who has prepared this meal we will be enjoying now. And we ask for your blessings upon them as well. And uh, we ask that you continue to be with us uh, the rest of this, uh, this luncheon and this day, Lord, and help us to be mindful of uh, our heroes of the past, our forefathers who have gone on before us and set an example for us in life, in faith, in deed, and to help us to be faithful in living up to the high calling with which you have called each one of us. We thank you, and uh, we pray all of this in the saving name of our resurrected Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Um, I just would like to announce that today's uh, special luncheon is being sponsored by Vikel Shurokyan in memory of his uh, mother, Mrs. Mary. Vikel, where are you, Vikel? Thank you very much for your generosity. Next, uh, I would like to invite our moderator, Anais, uh, Mrs. Anais Kulhurja. Anais is kind of short like my wife, but she has one of the biggest hearts I've ever known. Anais, please come. Can you see me? celebration, but I believe that to Reverend Tuchikian, he's the expert. Thank you, Reverend Tuchikian, for being here and the family. I welcome all the members of our church, the friends and the guests and their families. As you know, the luncheon is prepared by our mission outreach organization. Thanks go to Mrs. Alice Teria. She's been working very hard all week. And uh, the organization members, excuse me, because my husband has been sick and I've been up, even though I'm a registered nurse, but that was all the time. As we know, fought for our Christian faith in our country, we never should forget him. February is called the month of love. Flowers, cards, candy, chocolate, all are gifted, which is really a good business for USA. Jesus, uh, what an amazing love Jesus has for us. Today, we're celebrating the uh, love school in Beirut, Lebanon. I have never been to that school, even though I was born in Lebanon, but I grew up in Jerusalem. So this school, Shamlian Tatikian School, it's a high school, I heard, which has a very capable principal, Mrs. Vartuk Balakjia, the school was established in 1931. Every little help would support the school uh, for the Armenian Christian children. I'm not going to go ahead and say a speech because everybody is hungry, right? And uh, right now, and the food I believe is ready. I thank you for coming, and God bless you, and God loves you, and so do we.